Hello and welcome to Purple Pie Studios. In this video, I will show you how to animate liquid just like this in After Effects. First, we prepare the illustration file for animation in After Effects. So in Illustrator, I have separated all the layers that I need as a separate layer in After Effects. For example, for this jug, I have separated these two parts in a separate layer. Then for the glass, this reflection is in a separate layer and the glass is in another layer. Then this plate is in another separate layer, the shadow is another layer and the table is on another layer. And I have removed the other objects from the illustration because I wanted to mainly focus on the liquid animation in this particular video. I have also provided the illustration file for the class. Go collect it from the description and follow along with this lesson. So now we are going to start with the animation. So we are in After Effects and the first thing you can notice is this glass is not looking okay. So we are going to use a mat over here. So here is another solid layer which is touching the boundary of the plate. And we are going to use the alpha mat with this layer. And right now it looks like the glass is inside this boundary of the plate. So we are going to start with the chug animation. So for the chug, I am going to parent this opening with the chug and let's place it over here. So let's select this layer and we are going to open the position property, put a keyframe over here and open the rotation and put a keyframe. And now we are going to jump point around 20 frames and put keyframes over here. Here we are going to rotate it like this and move it outside the screen. And then we are going to add some overshoot. Let's jump on to somewhere around here and put a keyframe and then again over here put a keyframe. So here I'm going to rotate it slightly by around 2 degree and here by around 0.5. Now let's easy is the keyframes and then we are going to select these keyframes and jump into the motion graph editor. And here we are going to decrease the ease and here we are going to slightly increase the ease. So we are going to select all these keyframes and copy the ease with the help of the ease copy and paste it over here in the position keyframes. And here we have exactly the same motion graph over here. And let's offset the rotation keyframe by another frame. And here we have the preview. Now we are going to animate the liquid falling animation. So for that, we are going to add a stroke shape. And now after that, under strokes, at under strokes there is the tapered value. We are going to change the tapered value and give the start length to 100%. And change this cap to rounded cap. Then we are going to add a trim path. Here under trim path, we are going to add keyframes on the start and end. And then we are going to add a keyframe on stroke width. And also a keyframe on the path property. Press U to open the properties with keyframes and then we are going to jump on to next 15 frame and put the same keyframes. Here at the start we are going to give the end value 0% and select the keyframe and easy is it. And here we are going to make the curve steep so that it is accelerating at the end. And at the start we are going to change the stroke width. Let's give it around 50. Let's copy this motion graph and paste it over here in the stroke width. So the animation is going to start somewhere around here. Let's move this layer and put it over here. Here we can modify the path a bit. Select keyframes is it, is it and we are going to change this middle keyframe to a roving keyframe. Alright, now we are going to rename the layer. And let's put it below this jug layer so that it looks something like it's coming out of this jug. One last thing we are going to do with this liquid fall is we are going to add a mask over here so that it looks like it is inside this glass. Alright. Now we are going to animate the liquid fill animation. So for that we are going to pick the color from this particular liquid layer. So let's add a rectangle. Let's select the fill and cancel the stroke. Okay, now let's rename the layer 
and we are going to put this layer below this matte liquid and we are going to use this above layer as a track mat. So when it's falling and touching the ground, at this point it is going to start moving. So we are going to open the position property and separate the dimension and only animate the Y axis. Let's jump on to around 40 frames and move it below. And here we are going to reverse the order of the keyframes. And easy is the keyframe. And here we are going to decrease the ease. And here we are going to increase the ease a bit. We can increase the time over here. Now let's check out. So there is a small delay from the fall to the fill. We can move the layer somewhere around here. So once the liquid is filled up, we are going to stop this liquid falling animation. So for that, we are going to animate this start property of the trim path and we are going to give it 100%. And then we are going to decrease the stroke width to 50. Let's select the keyframes is is it and we are going to change the motion graph, make the side stiff and give it slight is. Copy this and paste the is over here. Okay, let's move the liquid layer below the reflection so that it looks like it is inside the class. And also move this jug opening and move it below this liquid fill. Now we are going to animate the glass and move it outside the screen. So let's jump on to next 20 frame and here we are going to rotate it this side and move it out. So for this one, let's select the rotation keyframe and here we are going to give is and here we are going to make the curve stiff. Copy the is from this keyframe and paste it over here. Now we are going to add some effects to enhance this animation. So for this liquid fill, we are going to add one effect called roughen edges. So we are going to apply this effect and then we are going to increase the border to around 10 and then we are going to increase the scale amount and after that under the evolution options we are going to press and hold the alt key and click on it to open the expressions and here we are going to type an expression time multiplied by 1000 and here you can see this liquid effect. After that we are going to add another effect on this liquid fill that's called the wave warp effect. So for this wave warp effect, we are going to modify some settings. Let's in increase the width and this looks good. All right, now let's check out. So for this one, I'm going to change the wave speed to around 0.8. Okay, and when it's filling up, we are going to decrease the wave height. So put a keyframe on wave height and here at this point we are going to decrease it to around 4 and let's easy is the keyframe and after that we can even duplicate it one more time and for this one we can change the direction to minus 90 and let's change the color and give it a darker shade and let's change the face of the wave. Let's check it now. And finally, we are going to animate the liquid splash. So for that, we are only using the shape layers. So add a circle over here and here we are going to put it. And let's open the position property and also the scale property put keyframes. And let's jump on to next 8 frame and we are going to move it out. And decrease the scale to around 15. At the start, we can slightly decrease the scale to 95. Let's ease the keyframes. And here at the start, we are going to decrease the ease. Let's carve the motion path and we are going to put it below this liquid fill. And also I'm going to pick this color for this vertical. Let's duplicate it one more time and we are going to change the motion path so like this, we are going to duplicate the layers and repeat the process. And here is our liquid splash 
just by using some shape layers. So like this you can animate liquid in After Effects just by using the shape layers and few effects like roughen edges and wave warp effect. So that is it for this video. I hope you liked it. If you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you have any doubt regarding the techniques, then make sure to comment down below. I would be happy to help you out. And if you are here for the first time, make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the bell notification button to stay notified for all future updates. Until then, goodbye.